My name is Kishwani. This K E S H W A N R Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for T's. We have been solving T's math problems out of this book here, the official study guide, version 7, 2025. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Always make sure that this book is in front of you when you and I are working together. Today, as I said, is day number 11, or perhaps I didn't. Today is our day number 11. We are on page 103, and today we'll look at some linear equation. Very, very simple, babyish linear equation on page 103. There are five of them there, as five examples. We're going to go through them one by one very quickly because, as I said, they are too silly. But we'll do them because they are there, because I don't want to skip anything. Here's number first. Number one. We are told that x plus 35 is equal to 74. And our job is to figure out obviously what x is. So let's get rid of the let's get rid of this 35. Let's subtract this 35 from both sides. If we subtract 35 from the both side, 35 will drop out, and that will leave us with x equals to. So we'll have to borrow one from here. This will guess, this guy will become and this, this 7 will become 6 and that's a 14, 14 minus 5 is 14 minus 5 should be 9 and then 6 minus 3 is 3 the answer is 39 I can't believe I was drawing a blank as to what 14 minus 9 was 14 minus 5 rather that was number 1 let's look at number 2 Number two is just as silly, if not more so. We are told that x minus 8 is equal to negative 14. Our job, of course, is to figure out what x is. So here we have a negative 8. We want to get rid of it. So but now we're going to add 8 to both sides. So that, so that the positive, positive 8 gets, kills the negative 8. The negative 8 and positive 8 are going to drop out and x, we are left with only x, x equals to negative 14 and 8, that's a 6 and we, it takes a sign of the, it takes a sign of the number, bigger number, the bigger number here is 14, so it's, in other words 14 minus 8 is 6 and it's negative because that's what 14 is, 14 is negative. This is number 3. Number 3 we are told that 4x is equal to, let me see what it says, 4x is equal to 7, that's all. And we want to find out what x is equal to, obviously. So we have to get rid of this 4. Well, we can very easily get rid of this 4 by simply dividing both sides of the equation by 4. Divide both sides of the equation by 4, and whenever I do that, I like to bring my equal sign down, because it has to line up here, it looks better. So if you divide both sides of the equation by 4, this 4 drops out, divide top and bottom by 4 and drops out and there you go, x is equal to 7 fourth. This is number 4. One after the other, I don't even know why they are here, but here, they are here. Number 4. We are told that 4 fifth of x is equal to 20. And again, we have to figure out what x is. So we have to isolate the x, we want the x by itself. How do we get rid of this 4 fifth? Oh, very simple. If you want to get rid of 4 fifth, multiply it by its reciprocal. Reciprocal means the flip side. If you were to multiply 4 fifth, if you were to multiply 4 fifth by 5 4, we can get rid of it. But since we're going to, since we are multiplying this side by 5 4, we have to do the same thing here. And now, if we divide top and bottom by 5, we can get rid of this 5. And if we divide top and bottom by 4, we can get rid of this 4. And all we are left with is x. x equals to 20 times 5 over 4. And this 20 is not 20 by itself. If it helps you, if it helps you visually, put a 1 underneath so you can see that this is also a fraction. We have a 4 on the bottom here. We have 20 on the top. Let's divide top and bottom by 5. Let's divide top and bottom by 4. This 4 is going to go away. And 20 divided by 4 is 5. And we're left with 5 times 5, which is 25. x equals to 25. And if you wanted to, you can actually very quickly verify if you if you wanted to. We were told 
we were told that 4 fifth, 4 fifth x is equal to 20 we were told. 4 fifth x was equal to 20. Let's see what happens. If you put in the value of x equal to 25, if we put in x equal to 25 here, and again put a 1 here if it helps you, and if you divide, if you divide top and bottom by 5, this 5 goes away, and 25 divided by 5 is 5, and as you can see clearly, 4 times 5 is 20. It checks out. x is equal to 25. This is number 5. The very last one on the page. We are told that 5x plus 5 is equal to 2x minus 10. Let's see what we can do. Okay, let's, let's see what we can do. First we have to get rid of this 5. We want, we want the x's to be on this side and all the numbers to be on the other side, all the constant to be on the other side. So we have to move this 5 to the other side. How do we do that? By subtracting 5, by subtracting 5 from both sides. So that part is done. Make sure you line up 5 and need the numbers and not in the x. And now we have to get rid of this 2x. We want this 2x to be on this side. This 2x, the way it is sitting, it is a positive 2x. Just like this, this one is a positive 5x. How do we bring it to this side? Well, it's a positive 2x. We want to get rid of it. Subtract 2x from both sides. There we go. We have achieved what we set out to do. Not quite because our line is going wonky. I wanted to say it because I learned that word recently. Wonky. So there we go. We have a positive 5 and a negative 5. It's going to kill each other. Similarly, we have a positive 2x and a negative 2x. They can kill each other. And here we are left with positive 5x and a negative 2x. 5 minus 2 is 3, so we are left with 3x, positive 3x. We don't have to put positive if you don't want to. And the equal sign comes down, this thing goes away. And here we have a negative 10 and a negative 5, that gives us negative 15. Negative 15. We want the x by itself, divide both sides by 3. There we go. 3 is going to drop out and finally x is equal to negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5. Negative 5. And again if you wanted to, we could verify it very easily. It doesn't take that long. That was the original equation. We were told that 5x and we are claiming that the x is negative 5. So 5x plus 5, we were told that this, has to, this quantity has to equal to 2x. 2x, x is negative 5, 2x minus 10. That's what we were given. If it checks out, then we are okay. 5 times negative 5 is negative 25, plus 5, that's going to give us negative 20. And here we have 2 times negative 5, which is going to be negative 10. And this is negative 10, that gives us negative 20, it checks out. That was it. There are 5 more problems, 5 similar very simple linear equations on the next page, on page number 104, which we'll do tomorrow. Okay? Perhaps they're not quite as simple as the one we just did, but we'll do them tomorrow. The practice problem that you see on the next page. Alright? Bye now.